everybody, I'm back to react, and you can clearly see who we're going to be reacting to. We're going to be reacting to Emi Richu, and uh, first of all, I I have to say that Emily is a very sweet, sweet woman. She looks like a very sweet young lady, and very sassy from what I've heard in the podcast, and she's just really nice. I, can't, I haven't been reacting to her uh, animations because I just don't get into her style much, but... With that being said, I don't know if it's just me, but her fucking style right now looks fucking beautiful, and I don't know why I just, I, I, I can't. Like, look at that style, look at that hair, look at the way she's doing this, look at everything, like those stripes, the stripes, man, like, oh my god. Sorry, I went somewhere there. But anyways, look at it! Like, I just love it, and I can't wait to see this video, and I can't wait to see uh, what little misadventures are gonna happen. So let's, with that being said, let's get into it. Owning a pet until after I graduated college. Mm -hmm. So Soli and I were roommates during our senior year of college, and after we graduated, we continued to be roommates in a different apartment, which mm -hmm. happened to be near an animal shelter. Ooh. Which is where we adopted this adorable snowshoe kitten and named him Prince, Aww. a name Soli chose based off of the little prince. I'll spare you the boring adoption details, but more importantly, look at how cute he was as a little kitten. Aww, he's still super cute now. Look at him. I just want to squeeze his fuzzy little cheeks. He's such a beautiful boy. <laughs> the one thing that really stuck out to me when I first saw him was that he looks like a cute little mascot for a Magical Girl series with that little forehead power gem. Finally, I was one step closer to fulfilling my childhood dream of becoming a magical girl. Hey, Just imagine, me in my super cute flowy magical girl dress with my adorable little sidekick by my... What? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> so after spending a significant amount of time with Prince, I've come to the conclusion that despite his deceptively magical looking appearance, he would make... A terrible mascot. Oh. Because suppose he was granted the ability to speak and magic powers. Mm -hmm. He is still, at his very core, a cat. Yeah. So I imagine my hypothetical superhero life going a little something like this. Prince, I need help! How do I activate my power staff? Alright, listen to me carefully. This is very important. The secret to activating your staff is... Prince? Oh, no. Prince? Oh, no. Pr Prince, the staff! Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Hang on. I need to mess with this dangly thing for a second. Prince, my signal's going off. Someone's in need of our help. <laughs> But I'm in the middle of my nap. Prince, this is serious. I can't transform without I you. Wasn't, I wasn't expecting to be thrown into a freaking anime here. Like, I know, like, I should have expected it, but I wasn't expecting to be thrown into a freaking anime, people. Like, this is some quality content here. Unless you have treats ready for me, I do not intend to move from this spot. That's a move. Episode 3, Okay, Prince, I'm almost hairy. there. Get ready. Wait. Huh? W what are you? I gotta, I, I gotta clean this one spot real quick. Oh my, oh god. my god, right uh, now? Yeah, this is like super important. Give me a sec. Uh, you can clean yourself later. We gotta go. So maybe not the best candidate for a Maho Shoujo yeah. mascot, but he can at least look the part. I've noticed I've become one of those cat moms who are constantly ready to shove pictures of their cats in people's faces. Uh, it's all fine and dandy when you're around other cat owners yeah. and you exchange cat pictures like candy, but then with other people who don't relate to how you feel about your cat, the enthusiasm is just not there. Uh, hey, Ditus. Hey, Ditus. Look at this adorable picture of Prince. Emily, you, you've already shown me this picture like at least like 20,000 times already. Give it a break. I know, but I just wanted to remind you how cute he is. Aww, Isn't he just the sweetest? Yeah, he's alright. Just look at him. Right. Look at that look cute at little face. I see him all the time. You don't have to show me every single picture, okay? Oh no, you 
triggered something. Look at my son. Look at him. <laughs> Look into his big, uh -huh. beautiful, hypnotic uh -huh. eyes and tell me he is no, the that, cutest no, that, freaking okay. cat you've I'm ever good. seen I'm in good. your entire I'm, life, I'm damn it. it. I'm backing away. You know what? He is cute, but I hate you. <laughs> Since I've never owned a pet before Prince, I had no idea what it felt like to be so emotionally attached to one animal, and the thought of it kind of messed me up at times. Ah. I'll explain what I mean in a second. Sole, on the other hand, is no stranger to owning pets. Yeah. She's had rats, cats, Wait, ferrets, yeah, rabbits, oh, and a dog, so she's been familiar with the roller coaster of emotions that comes with loving and losing an animal. Yeah. So one night at our old apartment, I was working on a video, and Prince was curled up next to my feet taking a nap. At a certain point in the night, oh, no. sad boy hours hit. Now I describe sad boy hours as that time of night where you've stayed up for a little too long, and you start thinking sadder thoughts than you usually would, yeah. either because sleep okay. deprivation is kicking in, or because it's dark outside and suddenly you feel more alone. I don't yeah. know. Like one minute, you're minding your own business, maybe and doing homework or something, and the next thing you know, you're reading about the Titanic at 2 in the morning because your morbid curiosity got the best of you, and now you're sad. Yeah. Yeah. We've all been there. Mm -hmm. Now, normally, when I hit sad boy hours, that's an indication that I need to go to bed, and at this point, I'd be turning my computer off and getting ready to sleep. But I had a video deadline looming over me that week, and I decided to power through the night. This was a mistake. Yeah. I, I remember looking already. over at Prince's sleeping body and being overcome with these thoughts. Oh, no. One day, oh, I'm going no. to outlive you. You're not even a year old yet, but one day, you're going to become old and I'm going to have to experience the pain of losing an animal for the first time in my life. I don't know when it'll happen, but I don't know if I'll be ready for it. Oh, God. At some point in the future, I will no longer be able to see you look at me with those beautiful blue eyes and I don't know how I'm going to handle it when that day comes. <laughs> oh, God, I love you kidding. so much. I just, I just want you to be happy forever. <laughs> so I spent like 20 minutes sobbing on top point, of... Sorry, in that point of case, everybody dies. You're gonna die. You, the viewer, is gonna die. The people you love are gonna die. Your pets are gonna die. Everybody's gonna die. And I've sort of upset upset the that um but it is something that does happen and sadly when our pets die it does hurt a lot and it sucks <laughs> um when I, I i'll tell you guys the personal stories right now but yeah um death you know of a cat at like 3 a.m don't judge me okay we've all had moments like this nobody is immune to sad boy hours all right Nobody. that's a fact Aside from the intrusive death thoughts, having a cat has been a wonderful experience. I mean, technically, you... he's Soleil's cat, not mine. But we adopted him together, so I claim ownership okay. as his second mama. I'm not a deadbeat. I go to my son's soccer games, I pay my child support in the form <laughs> of treats and toys, and I'll always love him, even if he'd make a terrible sidekick. Yeah. Emily? You show me the same exact picture of Prince about like six million bajillion times already, okay? Emily, I don't want to see this cat anymore. Yeah, I get it. Now get that picture out of my face. Oh, God. Okay. Hey, okay, I get it. He's cute. Now leave me alone. No, that, no, that, that's okay. I'm good. I'm good. I don't want to. I don't want to see it. I, yeah. Boopers. Okay, I admit it. He's cute. Anyways, um, yeah. When you lose a pet, it really, really sucks. Okay, it honestly really sucks. I, when I get a pet, I'm not really close to my pet. It actually goes to my mom. They actually love my mom. They absolutely love my brother. Um, I got my dad's jeans on the side where, like, we're not really close to pets. And there has been times where I have taken care of a pet or I've had a pet who loved me, but I was really stupid and I didn't appreciate that when they were still around. And when they died... I just broke down, and it sucks. Like I said, death is a thing. It is something we can't avoid. And when a pet dies, then, yeah, it takes a toll on you. Um, As for cats, I don't know about cats. We've never had a cat. We've had fishes. We've had hamsters. we had a guinea pig. We have a dog. We've had freaking birds, but we've never, ever, ever, ever had a cat. And the reason why, apparently my mom says that she is not a cat person, 
So we're never going to get a cat, and I have no idea if I'm a cat person or not. Probably not. But either way, from my experience with my dog, my dog seems to be sort of like a cat from what I've told people. Like, when I'm typing sometimes on my laptop, they legit put their head on my keyboard and don't move. And I feel bad for moving their head. She constantly cleans herself, and I fucking hate it. Like, I move away. I just leave the room because I don't want to see that. She's constantly around your feet. She's constantly freaking... uh, And then sometimes she's just so lazy, she doesn't even get up. Freaking Cardi. But anyways, um, yeah, so value your pets, value the time you've had with them, and that was just an amazing, cute little kitty, that was, he's so adorable, and the love you give your pet is actually really, really beneficial to them and to you. And also, again, fuck, freaking love the style now, I think it's because I've had Emmy Richu withdrawal, and now I'm just like, yeah, now I'm gonna get into this stuff now, it's time Like, back in the day, I couldn't, but now it's time. It's the Emily Richu era. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching that video. I hope you guys have a beautiful, unique, and weird day, just like all of y'all. And I will see you guys in the next video, so peace.